Hello wonderful world of YouTube, this is Bahamut2k456 aka Baja, and today I'm bringing you a brief unboxing and review of the Power Case Extra Power Complete Protection by Dream Gear for the Nintendo 3DS. Now if you've ever looked at the box of this product, which you probably have if you're watching this because you're probably interested in it, or a subscriber, if the latter, thank you, uh, the main thing it basically tries to sell to people is that it doubles the battery capacity of the 3DS. Well I'll get into more of that later, it's actually uh, pretty much true for the most part. There's not a whole lot to really say about this box, it's just got this nice sleek design to it. Uh, it's actually, the pictures on the front of it make it look more like a fabric material, but it's more of a silicone or soft touch plastic. Which is interesting, because I didn't know that coming into this. The front and the back of the box both say essentially the same thing. They will highlight the fact that it has an easy snap-in installation, it's rubberized for comfort, yeah, I pr couldn't see the back of the box when I was buying it online. Uh, it has protection for the top and bottom and an ultra-thin, lightweight design. Now, if you turn back to the front, you'll notice... <gasps> exact same bullets! Yep. Same thing on the front and back. Let's open this up. Uh, there's not a whole lot in here, actually. I have opened this before, so this isn't a new unboxing. Sorry about that. So, this right here is the actual case itself, as you can clearly see. You can also probably see the dog hair on it. And you also get this convenient little uh, plastic bag, which has uh, many useful things in it, namely a warranty card, which is pretty much useless, and a registration card, which is, you know, also pretty much useless. Moving on to the case. It comes in two pieces, it's not one whole solid unit. And these are things you might not know if you've been looking at the product online. The top is essentially this thin little plastic piece that clips onto the top, has all of the proper holes, and it has Dream Gear. Uh, it's actually kind of stylish, and again, very nice soft touch rubber, but at the same time, uh, you might be able to see it if I turn it just right. It's also, if you've ever handled a PlayStation 3, especially the slim ones, or any sort of soft touch uh, computer case, they are the biggest fingerprint magnets you can ever imagine. They pretty much suck fingerprints off of your fingertips from the other side of the room. It's their mission in life. You cannot stop them. And this right here is the actual battery pack itself. It's surprisingly thin. The box advertises a low profile, but I wasn't quite expecting this. It looks thick from the sides, but if you look at it from the top, you can actually see the entire thing is about as thick as a wafer. It's really... I don't, it's really crazy, and, well, it obviously doesn't look quite so skinny when it's on the 3DS itself, because 3DS is huge, comparatively, but it's pretty nice. It's also very simplistic. The only thing on it is the charging port for your 3DS power adapter and an on-off switch. By the way, this doesn't turn on without a 3DS resting in it, which is a good thing, because, I don't know, small children don't need to electrocute themselves. I think the one thing I don't like is if you look at the bottom of it, it says power case, again, very nice kind of stylistic thing, it's even got these little pseudo screw holes all over it. But the very bottom it says dreamgear.net, and I don't know why, but I cannot stand it when companies put their website on their product. It was the same thing with Portal 2. It says now you're, it says uh, thinkingwithportals.com on the side of it, and that drove me insane. Now, something I was actually, by the way, I hate the silicone case, that's why I decided to get a new one. It's kind of terrible. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Not easy to get on or off. But essentially, part one of the things this advertises is that it's very easy to clip on and off. And, surprisingly enough, they aren't lying about that. It's already clipped in. And then the top just kind of snaps right on. Boom. Done. All good. Now, if you're looking around online, you're probably not going to be able to find too much information about this. But what this actually does, there's an on-off switch in the back. And when it's charging the 3DS, it doesn't turn on any lights or anything. And it doesn't really have much of a low battery warning either. I believe it turns red right before the battery is about to die. Which I guess is okay. But I would have preferred two LEDs maybe. I don't know, I guess that kind of goes against the minimalistic design. Uh, again, it's a very nice soft rubber feeling. I've noticed through some use that it gets hot, like right in this area, right below the right below the uh, the card slot, the card reader. 
when it's charging the 3DS for long periods of time, and if you actually have it running for more than maybe an hour or two, this entire area just starts to heat up because of the electricity transferring out of the battery, which is very strange because I've never known batteries to throw off that much heat when energy is being sucked from them, but I guess, I don't know, there's really not much casing on it, so that might have something to do with it. And when you actually go to charge this thing, the red light here will turn on until it's until the case itself is done charging because it filters energy in from the ca from the case itself into the 3DS and charges both at the same exact time. So by the time it's done, this red light right here, you can actually see the little LED right there. That will be red the entire time it's charging, and as soon as it turns off, you know both the 3DS and the case will be at full charge. Now you can probably see it right there. What's my three? What is? Wow. Okay, that was a camera through a camera. Nice job, 3DS. You are doing great for this review. You can probably see it right there. It says it's charging, so it's definitely doing its job. It functions as a portable charger. It's almost like your uh, 3DS is hooked up to its dock. And I've done a little bit of experimentation. Where this case says right here with 2x battery capacity, it's not necessarily lying. In fact, I'd say it's a little bit of an understatement, because. After I've tested it a bit, I have put my 3DS into this thing. Wow, this is already getting fingerprints all over it, and I'm not even greasy. I just washed my hands. Anyway, before I got myself off track, I'm sorry for the lack of professionalism in this. It's late at night, and I just kind of wanted to do this on a whim. I don't have any editing software right now. But um, I noticed when I put my 3DS into this one, it was dead. It actually filled it up from a full, from a uh, completely dead battery all the way up to full charge, and still had some power left over to spare. So they definitely weren't kidding about the double charge thing. And while it does give it a somewhat thicker profile, you can see right here this right this lip is how much extra it adds, and it's actually kind of nice because one of my biggest complaints with the 3DS system itself has always been the fact that it's kind of awkward to hold. Like the buttons always seem to be just eh especially when you're trying to hit both of the triggers at once. It just feels too small, since I have, you know, massive man hands. And essentially what this does, since it makes it thicker, it actually makes it much more comfortable to hold and play with. And it's actually kind of neat, because it gives it some definition with these little bulges right here. And I guess that's more of a personal preference than anything. So my overall look on this case would be that it's actually pretty nice. I found it for 15 bucks online, and you definitely can't go wrong for that. If you are looking for this product or anything like it, I would recommend either this or the, if you're looking for a different sort of solution, I would recommend looking for the portable charging dock, which has a little LED meter right here that will show you how much charge is left in the dock itself. So, anyway, uh, this has been a review by Bahamatsuke456 aka Baja. Um, if you enjoyed this long, rambling, annoying video, then please feel free to give me a like, and if not, then feel free to tell me otherwise, politely. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day browsing the wonderful world of YouTube.